Pepe coin continues to fall hard right now. We're going to dive into what's going on here. Can we experience a comeback here? Because right now the sell-offs have continued and maybe this is just a ticking time bomb as we could see some more downside here. We're going to talk about why that potentially is. Now, of course, we don't want that to happen, but I want to bring you up to speed on something very important that we're watching, and it's the flow of money uh, right now in Pepe. So I want to make you aware of it if you are a trader and or a Pepe coin holder. So welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys as always. Let's dive in because we are experiencing still a sell-off. You can see some big, big downside here uh, starting from yesterday. We were way up here in the 1.9 range. See, Right here, we were trading sideways for a very long time. What were we talking about here for days? For days here, right? For about three days. What are we going to get? A breakout or a breakdown? Because this consolidation won't stay like this forever. Well, we got the breakdown, right? We broke down from 1.9 level all the way now down to the 1.1 level at one point. We are bouncing off that 1.1 right now. We'll see if we can contain uh, or sustain, rather, this rally uh, that we are experiencing here. We are going to uh, enter back into that safe RSI period here pretty soon. If we get back up into the 50 spot, we'll see if we continue to climb as traders perhaps buying up this dip. Maybe just getting ready, though, for more sell-offs because, well, I'll save it for the end of the video because there's something happening right now where people are offloading their money onto exchanges. Let me take you inside this. So Pepe deposits are soaring. And it all has to do with centralized exchanges, okay? A significant quantity of Pepe has been deposited into a ton of exchanges within the past 24 hours. The deposited volume stands at 33 trillion Pepe, estimated to be worth roughly $46 million. So the net deposit observed from about 1,100 addresses totals to about 23 million. Now, you can see this influx has resulted in a net gain of $22.94 million from the exchanges coming from an impressive 1,176 addresses, thereby diversifying the deposit source pool. So this is what we're looking at here. Centralized exchange deposit ranking. Pepe's number one. So what does this really mean? This means that people are offloading their Pepe. They're moving it from DeFi, from their MetaMask wallet, for example, and moving it over into Binance or OKX. Well, why do you usually do that? You usually do that to sell, right? To easily sell it and get it into fiat. So it doesn't tell us exactly that that's happening, right? But it gives us some indication that more and more people are moving it over to centralized exchanges so they can be prepared to sell it. Now, investors need to stay very aware of this because it shows us the market trends. It gives us that insight. You know, a deposit influx of this magnitude might lead to a price dip due to that increased supply, causing a possible market imbalance. So we're watching that carefully. I think it's already kind of happening right now. And it says right here, Pepe may experience a second sell off in the short term, right? In the short term here, we might see some more downside as uh, even the technical indicators are, sh are flashing this in addition to the information we have here with money being transferred over to centralized exchanges, right? Now, again, keep in mind, as fast as we went up, guys, we had to pull back, right? Keep in mind, we went all the way up. We set our all-time high about a week ago now. It was a week ago where we got up to that 4-3 range, and that was ahead of the Binance listing. Also keep in mind, before the Binance listing, we were at you know this level down in here, 608, 609, we're not even all the way back down there just yet. I mean, if you look at this holistically, it makes sense as to why we would come back down the way we have here in the last week after our parabolic run. The question is, when will we consolidate? I thought we had it right here, and we did for a little bit, right? We held the line, held the line, held the line, and then broke down. We're going to have to wait and see. Whenever we get that two to three to four day consolidation period, Hopefully, the next time we get that, we can break out from it and not break down. We'll be tracking it for you, though, guys. Make sure you guys are locked in. Subscribe down below. Appreciate you guys, as always. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.